Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Jordan 4 Craft, and that's in Photon Dust Pale Vanilla. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to pre the box. Very, very nice. Like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah uh, yeah, purchase links for these and the GS sizing in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have a grey, dark grey, pale vanilla and sail outsole with pale vanilla for the Jumpman. We have a dark grey and sail midsole with a gray air unit, very, very nice. And then we come to this upper. So the upper is composed of different materials. We've got some suede, painted suede, some leather right here. And if we start from around the toe, you'll see that we have that gray photon dust suede, very, very nice. And on the toe box, we have that gray photon dust smooth grain leather. Going up the shoe, you'll see that the eye stay is a kind of painted, cracked grey leather. Very, very nice. And you'll see that we have the wings, the eye stay in that translucent pale vanilla. Very, very nice. And then we come to the laces. Photon dust to the thickness that I like. These laces conceal a grey suede tongue. And at the top of this tongue, you'll see that we have a, a satin effect photon dust tongue tab with the pale vanilla Jumpman. If we go to the mid portion of the shoe, you see that we have that nice panel right there with the grid etched in on the suede. It's photon dust, similar to the tongue or the base of the tongue where that grid pattern is also prevalent. Very, very nice. And you'll also see that the wing support is that cracked leather. Again, similar to the eye stay, also in that photon dust color. Adjacent to that wing support, you'll see that we have a nice square patch of suede. Really, really nice little detail right there. And then coming to the heel of the shoe, you'll see that we have a dark gray heel tab, which is translucent if you look closely. And you'll also see that we have the Jumpman re-emerging in that pale vanilla. If we take a look inside the shoe, you'll see that the sock liner is in dark gray, as well as the insole with the Jumpman, which is in pale vanilla. Let me know what you think of this pair. For me, I like these. I really like these a lot. The upper construction, the materials, the design, exceptional. Really, really good. I like a four that goes away from the normal four mold. You can see when you put this four against some other fours, this one just looks different. The colorway, the color scheme, perfect. Really, really perfect. The shades of gray, that photon dust works exceptionally well. It looks kind of aged, but it's not aged, but it is, but it isn't. Really, really nice. The translucent elements, the wings and the heel, I love them. Really, really good. It just gives a sense of, you can sort of see through it, but you can't. I know it's translucent. It's sort of foggy, misty. Ah, it's just really, really good. That kind of frosted effect. The materials themselves just exude quality. It's just really nice to the touch, the different textures. Again, complementing the color, the different textures, because it's basically the same color all over the shoe, but with slight different hints, slight different hues. The textures just draw out something extra from this pair and it just really, really works well in harmony together. Think about it, look at the grid pattern etched in on the, on the mid panel and on the base of the tongue. You know, you don't get that usual net in. It just gives it something different. Really, really nice, a really, really nice touch. Returning again to that pale vanilla. Again, it just works perfectly. Think about it, if they used like a vault, disgusting. If they used a bright yellow, <sighs> Mr. Mark, this kind of aged sort of, it's yellow, but it's not quite yellow, just really works. 
so well with this upper and it just harmonizes so perfectly together. Taking a look at the laces, photon dust laces work perfectly with this one, goes well with the upper. You could swap them out for sale, that could work. Dark grey, that would be interesting matching this portion of the outsole midsole, yep. I wouldn't go for a pale vanilla lace. I think the pale vanilla elements just dropped in there, very, very nice. Works well enough, you don't need any more. Let these wings and the jump man and the reverse of the tongue, let them speak for themselves. You don't need any more, in my opinion. White laces, yeah, could work well. But remember, there are no additional laces on this one. You'll have to dig into your lace box in order to swap out the laces on these. Let me know, which laces will you be swapping out too? With all that being said, I think you can tell that I really do admire and appreciate this pair. Really, really good pair and I give these a 9 out of 10. Solid, solid pair in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with me or is that rating too high? Remember, purchase links in the description for these and also this pair comes in GS sizing. Very, very slight differences compared to the adult size. But let me know your thoughts. Will you be picking them up? Have you already picked them up? As I said, purchase links for both in the description. Thank you everybody for subscribing, sharing your thoughts. It is always appreciated. I've been Scopes, signing out. See ya.